few things so i thought you know it might be good to share it with you uh and uh, here is it and i think it's uh, just you know a little bit uh whenever you try to open the file they like the css and the js uh it usually open in the notepad or you know whatever the program is uh, set to default but you can actually change it to any program any editor you like so let's say in my case i need uh, i really like the sublime text so i always need to edit them in the sublime uh, and you know so it always open to me on the sublime and how i did that I, actually i just read this uh, you know i just read this a uh, little bit of article and do the whole thing okay so it's pretty simple actually you don't need to read this uh, you know the whole thing uh, just uh, in my case you know for the sublime text uh, but in whatever your case is let's say you know uh, in your case let's say we need to you know, do the notepad plus plus let me go see if we have the in here come on okay it must be here okay, here it is Okay, so let's say you need to, you know, uh, send Notepad plus 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 uh, as a primary editor when, whenever you open the file uh, through the file folder. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna just uh, it's what you need to, you know, get the whole location right. Come on, put name, copy the whole thing. Okay, so this is how you're gonna do it. Just copy the whole thing, and what you're gonna do, you just go to the edit settings. Then you go to the file tab, associations, and here you can see how it's got done. So let's say if I need to open the JS files by notepad only, what I'm going to do and just run The JS should be open with S. Okay, so what it's going to do, uh, the next time I open any JS file, it should be opening by notepad. Plus. Actually, you know what, just um, let's give it a try and see what happens. Uh, let's see. So I just did it, I just saved it. Now I need to find the JS file. Here it is. Come on, come on, come on. It should be in some plugin, I guess. I have version. Okay, let's just hit the other from seven. Ah, come on. Actually, you know, I just use it for the PHP extensions. Let's go here and see what happens. Okay, so I'd say the PHP file should be opening with the notepad plus plus. Okay, I just hit the okay now and let's hit the add button. So it should be opening the notepad plus plus now instead of my sublime text. And let's see what happens. Okay, great. Uh, as you can see, we have the you know the PHP file opening our notepad plus plus, uh, and which is what we just did. So yep, this is how you do the you know change the file set and you know open the whole thing. And uh, this is how you open your file with the specific program. Sorry about that. Okay, great. And just finish. Okay, great. Thanks. Uh, if you like the video, just you know uh, hit the hit that red button which says subscribe. And okay, thanks. Bye bye.